event of something happening to me. There is something I would like you all to see. It's just a photograph of someone that I knew. Okay. <laughs> You're thinking, why is she playing the Bee Gees? Is she lost her mind? Well, actually, no. Uh, I woke up this morning and found out that I am a suppressive person. Oh, I, my. Yeah, I bet you didn't know. You're thinking, well, what's that? Well, this week on my blog and on Facebook, uh, I have been discussing things with Bob Jones University students because uh, one of theirs was not just any one of theirs, but a certain student named Christopher Peterman was expelled. He was expelled for his page, his Facebook page, Do Right BJU, although, of course, that's not what they say. They say he was actually expelled for watching Glee. And so I wrote about that. And I defended his right to watch Glee or any other show he wants to watch. And now I wake up this morning and there is a whole Facebook page about guess who? Me. Me, Greg. You're famous. I know. <laughs> the thing about this page, though, as I said on my blog, is that this page says, quote, unquote, we gonna find you, end quote. Ladies and gentlemen, I have written and I have said many times, and I'm going to repeat it now. Do you believe me now when I say it's a cult? Do you believe me now when I say that Bob Jones University is a cult? You know, last night I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't use the word cult. Is that kind of rough? I should cult-like, cult behavior, cultish. No, this morning I get up and my life is threatened, and this makes me think of the Church of Scientology, which loves to go after people as suppressive persons. And I am a suppressive person. SP is what they call them. And Greg is going to explain to you what an SP is, according to the Church of Scientology. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedias. Suppressive person, often abbreviated SP, is a term used in Scientology to describe the antisocial personalities who, according to Scientology's founder, L. Ron Hubbard, make up about 2.5% of the population. 2.5, wow. The term is often applied to those whom the Church of Scientology perceives as its enemies. Ooh. One of the reasons Scientology doctrines portray suppressive persons as such a danger is that they are supposed to make people around them become potential trouble sources. Ooh. PTS. I think that's what they think you are, Daisy. Wow. That's Greg's uh, NPR voice, in case you didn't know. Uh, I'll be getting to, wait, I'll be getting in a second. I'm going to be talking to Chris. But I just want to make it clear that this morning I was threatened for, for daring to challenge Bob Jones University. I have been personally challenged now. My life has been threatened. So I am a suppressive person, just like the Church of Scientology. They are coming after me. And you know what I said to, to uh, anger one of them? And I'm going to repeat it. <laughs> okay, he said he wants an apology from me. No, you're not getting an apology from me, Mr. How do you say his name? U Umanzor? U Umanzor, I believe. U-M... How do, you say it? How do you say it in Spanish? Umanzor. Umanzor? Umanzor, I yes, would assume. Yes, he thinks I that I'm not being nice to quote-unquote brown people. Uh, I don't know where he gets this, but let me make it clear. What I said is that if anybody doesn't like the Constitution of these United States, they need to leave the country. And if he thinks that's offensive, let me repeat it, Bob Jones University students. If you do not like the First Amendment and my right to speak, leave the country. Get out. Get out. Now, is that clear enough, even for people who have been homeschooled, even for people who went to Bob Jones? Is that clear enough for you? You don't belong here. Our civil law is that everyone speaks, that everyone has the right to speak. You do not intimidate me with violence because you don't like what I say, like the Church of Scientology. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You're a cult.